Okay, and we're back. Um, I think what I'm going to do first is just show you, uh, since this is probably the first place where you can really get in trouble for chasing the chickens, just go ahead and show you what happens if you get caught. Give it up, bird brains. Sure, what the ultimate goal of catching the chicken would do for you, anyway. How are you going to convince it to tell you where the uh, egg is? But anyway. That chicken has teeth. That's got to hurt. That too. What did I say about chasing my chickens? Uh -oh. oh, I can overlook a couple of slip-ups, but now you've gone overboard. But sure, I... Now it'll be the rest of the weekend doing house chores for the two of you. Gordon Smugs defeats all in 10th Annual Insectathon. Last year's winners spend weekend darning farmer's socks. All right, there you go. That's what the game over looks like. Basically, a little uh, update uh, about what happened and why it sucks for Elroy. Okay, gonna go ahead and get back to where we were, and I will continue the game as normal. See you. See you in just a second. Okay, let's go ahead and explore this place without bothering the chickens, because uh, as you saw, that's not a good idea here. These must be the Bug Club members, all grown-ups. Weird. Weird looking that guy people. in the back row kind of looks like Wild Bill Hickok. Yeah, we don't want to get caught in well, here. Looks like the farmer to me. Yeah, they're going to taunt you a lot in here. Just uh, go ahead and ignore that. You can do it one time, like you saw, but don't do it more than that. But really, you don't have to do it at all. So. Good idea to avoid another chicken chase. Yeah. Hmm. Actually, there's things we want to see in here anyway, so important for later. Looks like they stopped to milk a little honeydew. Yeah. Okay. Honeydew. That one's smoking a cigarette? Oh, eggs in that? sight. Let's not forget our mission, Blue. There's gotta be an egg in here somewhere. Okay. Those chickens clearly have something against Elroy here. I mean, I know he was chasing them, but that's a bit much. Uh, let's see. Which one do we want to do? Beetles suck, huh? Which, John, Paul, George, and Ringo? Are they in here? Let's keep looking, Blue. Beetles suck? I don't think so. Yeah, I disagree, too. Well, that can't be right. What kind of bug club is this, anyway? <laughs> that's better. Yeah, oh, that's real nice. More like. Defacing, uh... Well, we still haven't found an egg, and the clock is ticking. All right, recreational equipment or special exhibit? Uh, let's do recreational equipment. Recreational equipment. Hey, Bo. Oh boy. It's just like our alley. Yeah, except it ain't our alley. Uh, anybody that doesn't okay. like bugs, this is not the LP for you. Nope, no eggs. Yeah. Relax, Pooh. Cockroaches spend half their time cleaning themselves. They're a lot cleaner than flies. Ooh, you'll never convince me. I'm sure there's a lot of viewers out there that feel the same Thank way. You you'll never convince them either. Most dangerous insect in the world. Now, this is going to be fun. The most dangerous insect in the world. Um, I think we ought to skip this one. It's just a scare tactic. Sure it is. Come on, Why don't you go the in there? The is probably in there. I mean, never heard from him again. No oh. technolopter and no egg. Nothing but a housefly. Well, that's no ordinary housefly. You see? The common housefly really is the most dangerous insect in the world. Yes, he looks so convinced. Because convinced. it picks up germs and throws them up wherever it lands. Yeah. Delightful. Cholera, typhoid, pneumonic plague. <laughs> I have low tolerance.
much for you, pal. Just get a fly swatter. I don't know what's worse about this place. Flies or chickens? Alright, so, just in case my Transformers theory or my government conspiracy theory is incorrect, here's a little information about the Technoloptera. Wow, Blue. This looks like part of a family tree for the Technoloptera. Here's a little note. The Technoloptera is believed to be a product of cross-species breeding. It looks like the great-grandparents were all dung beetles. Their offspring made it with the stink beetles and lightning bugs. I have no idea if those creatures that. would explain that, the but... stink bombs, Blue. And their offspring made it with a honeybee. I wonder if the Technoloptera's got ultraviolet sight capabilities. So the stung and the bee became Blue, a we better speed. fix that cake quick. We got Technoloptera's to catch. Dignity to preserve. Lightning Money and gun became a to lung, a lung bee. Stink gun. Blue! <laughs> it became a stung. <laughs> okay. Uh, special exhibit two. Let's check it out. Man, I better go in there. Can't see anything but a bunch of feathers, Blue. I think special Could exhibit one nest. we skipped when we went into the no recreation of an egg. Aha! I'm off. You know what's going on here, Blue? Well, yeah, such a sad story. This little moth thinks he's serving the sun. See, they've learned to navigate by the sun's rays. And this poor guy is trying to do the same thing with the candle. Only he can't, because the candle's not far enough away, so the rays aren't parallel. And that means he's gonna... Do they normally hold meetings in this place, or why would they have charts? Closer to the main How would he know they, they were there in two years ago? happen. <laughs> Just saved the life of a moth that would probably have died in a couple days anyway. Mm, okay. Must be a bunch of insects in there. That's what stridulation means. Rubbing body parts together to make a sound. I don't believe you mentioned that. Be an egg in there. yourself off. Well, you never know till you look. Hmm. Quick beetle, long horned beetle, a shush and the beetles. And this is awake. Uh, I'd say stridulation is a bit of a misnomer in this case. Did you see that, Blue? They weren't using body parts. They were playing instruments. Like you said, kid, this is a strange place. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe, uh, you're hallucinating? Maybe there's something in this place that's a little awkward? A little, uh, unhealthy, perhaps? What do you know? What the hell is that? <laughs> you know, I don't think I would put that on my head. <laughs> if I just found that laying around. Clearly <laughs> it scrambles his brain. Oh. Some kind of psychic hat for dogs. Which points him to... This? Again, I don't think I'd put that on my head. Yeah, that's why. Because now you're possessed by a paper bag with eye holes on it. Okay, it's more than a paper bag. This thing's pretty cool. Well, it doesn't look yeah, like much. Makes you sound like Darth Vader. An egg for sure. Let's listen to that. Father. Oops, just spoiled the movie, sorry. Oh boy, what's going on here? I think my computer's too fast to make this work, it's not supposed to jump that quick. My head's getting... Uh oh. What the heck is that? Don't let yourself get distracted. Yeah, don't step in there. Come on. Well, I know what to, I actually do know what to do here. Oh, there we go. What 
is this? Looks like a riddle machine to me. Oh. Pretty fancy you can way recognize to keep a, door a shut. riddle machine. What are you working? And this is why it was important to pay attention to all those exhibits. This should be no problem. I'm great at riddles. Take your time, kid. I have a feeling that if you mess up, we won't get another chance. His feeling is correct. Which of the insects listed below is the most dangerous to people? Scorpion, hornet, fly. <sighs> well, it's obviously not scorpion, because that's not even an insect. Don't, we didn't see anything about hornets, but uh, we did see an exhibit that said that the fly was the most dangerous. Let's go with that. Tricky question. It's the fly. I think it looks like it was made by Fisher Price. Congratulations, that is correct. Aha! Yes! Success at last. We did it, Blue. And we got we the egg. We did it. We got an egg. Blue, they must have caught the Technolotra. Who's that? Uh, not for long, though. No. Look the at that cage door. It. Yeah, it it's contained. pretty mutilated. Do you think they're going to be able to? Blue, this is incredible. If we catch the Technolotra, we'll be making history. Yeah, but only if we fix the cake first. Otherwise, we'll be history. Let's leave the ticket alone now. We better get a move on and fix that cake. It looks like the whole county's in on the chase. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the lumpiest cake. Boy, that's not easy. Remind me never to start an egg collection. Egg collection. Uh, okay. Time to take care of that cake. Remember, we only have one egg, so we've got to follow the recipe exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. exactly. I mean exactly. You've wow, only got bad one pun. chance. Yeah, make sure it's not too dry, kid. Okay, cookbook first. Fat I'll make cakes, sure we know the ingredients. Cakes, fake cakes. Oh, this, this has got to be the one. Lumpy cakes. <laughs> what does that say? The old farmer needs to practice his penmanship. Round. Can you something. read that, Blue? Uh, yeah, what do you think? <laughs> Looks like something about Norma. Norma. What would she have to do with making a cake? Oh, um, okay, Norma is a cow. To take care of that cake. Norma's a cow that we did not see in this LP so far because we didn't choose that path. Um, but yeah, Norma's a cow. So anyway, flour. A little flour. <laughs> I say Burpco mix and bake sugar. A little sugar. Interesting advice. What's gonna be next? Some butter. Hmm. Oh, the entire now, what stick we try? of butter. The egg we were seeking for so long. One egg. We went through all the trouble to get. Oh, what? You're not even gonna crack okay. it? Okay. One okay. more thing. Not gonna question you. Okay, now, I have no idea what this says. I never, I don't think I ever figured it out. Um, but I do happen to know from memory what the correct ingredient is. If, so we got, what do we got here? Milky Way powder for, for out of this world lift. Uh, pungent condiment, interesting title or name for that. What is that, surfactant maximus? And gray cloud precipitator. Oh, and flour, uh, aromatic and bug proof. But the correct choice is the lactoid emulsifier, whatever that means. Jacques Dubiel's lactoid emulsifier. What the heck? Yeah, mine as well. Okay, the machine's full. Let's bake it. Yep. Here goes. Presto. <laughs> <laughs> I can only believe we did it. You owe me one, Blue. <laughs> Don't even think about it. 
wonder what mm. flavor that is. Mm. It's kind of an orange, to, mm. orange cake with purple myself. ice in it. All we gotta do is... No, don't make any sudden movements. It might attack. It's only a weakness. A screen door. How did they know? Has a voice. Crazy. Woof, woof, woof. Dog like bark I've heard him do so far. Still not real though. Oh, that's real nice. <laughs> yes, let's focus on that for a second. Ah, there's Norma. That's Norma the cow. And a weird looking chick. On top. Boy, you two sure get around. You'll be happy to know that we solved our cake problem. Hmm. You think they'll catch her? Now that'll be the day. Her. Hey! Stop! Hold on! You can't go in the tool shed, Blue! It's one of the farmer's big dogs! Blue! <laughs> oh, my. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Indeed. I know that bug's in here somewhere. <laughs> Sniff her out. She's probably got some sort of odor cloaking device. Uh, yeah, figures. A real life technolopter is here in this room, and we're gonna find it. Yes. But, um, anyway, so this is the tool shed where uh, I had said if we had chosen the, to chase after the bug in the beginning, this is where we would have ended up. And as I said, we ended up here anyway which is why I chose to do the egg first. So, um, we're going to go ahead and explore this area in the next video. So, I hope to see you there. Take care, folks.